Hey guys, it's Snipesy and welcome back to some more Sonic Forces and we are going to be starting the second part of this playthrough. So previously we took on Eggman because he is of course up to no good once again as he is attempting to take over the world and this time he was actually successful which is absolutely crazy. And as well he had a little bit of some help with a little bit of some old regular faces and as well once our ally Shadow the Hedgehog is on his side as well which is absolutely crazy. Also Eggman has a new ally on his side known as Infinite and we have never seen this guy before and he absolutely whooped us. He was absolutely insanely strong and this time we are going to be finding out what has happened to Sonic because he has been captured by Eggman and we need to rescue him. We were also able to create our own original Sonic character which was absolutely awesome and we are now on the team with Knuckles and the rest of the gang and what we are going to do in this episode is that we are going to be rescuing Sonic from Eggman's evil forces. So guys, if you are hyped for this episode, don't forget to leave a like, I really appreciate it. But now, let's jump straight back into where we last left off on Sonic Forces. So here we go guys, you can now play as Shadow the Hedgehog because I did download the episode Shadow DLC which is absolutely free for everyone who grabs a copy of Sonic Forces so go ahead and check it out guys. But anyways, we are going to be moving on to the next stage which is stage 3 City Ghost Town. So let's go ahead and jump into this brand new stage. Ah, here we are. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump straight into a brand new stage. Oh, cutscene. Should have done it. It's a mega. It out for you, buddy. I'm sorry I wasn't smart enough. It's Oh gosh. Whoa, chaos. That reminded Daddy, me of the first Daddy. Sonic Adventure game when he just emerged out of there. <gasps> it's classic Sonic. Hello. He knows what to do. Sonic? You're alive. Wait. What? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> the power that Eggman is using is somehow affecting other dimensions. Which might work to our advantage. I mean, everything happens for a reason, right? We need to save the world. And maybe that's why you're here. To help save the world. Either way, it's still good to see you, Sonic. Heck, it's good to see any Sonic. True, that's very true. But not Sonic Boom Sonic, just saying. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into Ghost Town. Of stage three. Okay, so we're playing as classic Sonic. This is really cool. So. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like. Oh, excuse my voice crack there. It seems like we're going to be uh, chatting with Tails whilst we're playing as classic Sonic. Okay. So we know how to do the spin dash. I have played Sonic Generations. It was an absolutely an amazing game with the inclusion of classic Sonic for the first time in the third dimension. It was just absolutely insane, but of course they kept the OG gameplay for him. Okay, so the spin dash, so we simply hold down, and there we go. That's how we do the spin dash. Oh, okay, I want to avoid that. I need to remember my platforming skills from Sonic Mania. Otherwise, I will not be doing great in this episode, guys, so... Can I? No, I don't think I can. I could always try going backwards, but that might be a bit pointless. Let's just give it a try anyways. It's always good to try it out, guys. As I remember from uh, Mania. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I did that wrong. And I did something really cool then. I don't know how I did that little spin thing. But anyways, let's go back here. Oh, no. This is going to take me a while, guys. Okay, jump. Oh, my gosh. How did I miss it again? Okay, just jump. Just jump. There we go. Okay. Just go all in, guys. Nice. This is really cool, it's definitely given me those uh, generation vibes because honestly that game is amazing. Even though I haven't really um, like given it that much praise in the past and all that. And uh, I haven't talked about it that much in the past but it's still really awesome. Uh, so you can perform an instant spin dash when landing... Oh yes yes yes, okay I think I remember. Is it? Oh yeah 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 that's it, okay. So it's whilst you're in the air, 
and you're about to hit the ground or whatever. I think we have to be on... Uh, There we go. Yes. Because from that uh, crazy little uh, dialogue thing that we had in the beginning of the game, it said that Eggman like managed to destroy the world, which is absolutely insane. Because that never happened before. Oh, nice. Speed up. Let's do it. Woo! Doing a little loop the loops. I was kind of sad at first that we, uh, no, go back up, that we uh, went the other way, but it's absolutely fine. I want to hit you. There you go. Horrible little robots. It's your fault this planet is destroyed. It looks so worn out, poor little thing. Oh dear. It's very interesting because we haven't actually, oh, uh, we haven't actually seen anything quite like this before in the past of Sonic, you know where? Things are getting destroyed, and it's getting a bit crazy. We haven't really seen that before. But anyways, let's keep on moving forward. Nice. We got a little bit... Oh, Sonic's spin dash. Got a nice item box. Careful, Sonic. I'm detecting a ton of readings besides Eggman, too. Of course. Oh, nice. So the invisibility is actually the fist pump theme for... Uh, Classic Sonic, unless it's with everyone. That's really cool. Right, keep on going. Yeah. There we go. We completed the stage, guys. Let's see what rank we got. Probably not the best, because I took quite a while. Oh. No. Yeah. Okay, I did get an S. I was like, no, nah, I'm not getting an S, but I managed to get one. That's really awesome. And we got medals. I want to know what these medals are uh, used for. Unless it's just to show our rank or whatever. But let me know, guys, if you do know what they are used for. Mission complete. Clear stage three. Very nice. Oh, so we've got a reward for completing the mission. And it looks like a rucksack. And a new little beanie hat. And some sort of gloves with, like, knuckle protector things. And booties. Oh, they look really cool. And some sort of uh, bodysuit. Anyways, we'll check those out later. But now let's move on. A couple of months ago in the city. By the way, I love Infinite's voice. Oh, it's so sad. It's me. I can taste your terror, child. All that anxiety and doubt. Oh, we're so right scared. Give in to your fear. Flee screaming, and I'll let you. This is messed up. <laughs> so this is like ages ago now. Uh, like while Segman was taking over the world and Sonic has been captured for a very long time. <gasps> it's Rouge! Hello. Rouge! Oh, it's about time. How's Sonic doing? He's been better. They're getting ready to banish him into space. What? What? You can't be serious. Yep. <laughs> Same as me, Silver. Eggman's been keeping Sonic alive all this time. He's been waiting to show him his completed empire before banishing him. Hmm. By the way, I love the little animations of the characters whilst they talk to each other. It looks really cool. Torturing Sonic just to pass the time. Oh, that's low, even for Eggman. Eggman got wind of our rescue plan and is moving forward with his plan ahead of schedule. Oh no. The clock is ticking, boss. But we don't even know where he's being held captive. Yes, we do. Eggman rebuilt the Death Egg. Did he? That's where he's keeping Sonic. Wow. The Death Egg? Oh man, that's not good. None of this is good, Vector. That's why it's called war. <laughs> you all know what to do. Let's go get Sonic. Oh, we look awesome. Look at that. Okay, so the next mission. The mission screen has been unlocked. Okay. And the next episode is stage four Death Egg. So we're definitely going to be checking that out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and check out the new little things that we got uh, in a fitting room. So we got the beanie. That's what it looks like. Gloves. Oh, they're actually quite cool. Anyway, so we'll stick with the default ones. Footwear, we got boots. Oh, they're actually quite cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna uh, keep those on because I can't go wrong with a pair of booties, guys. That's just me. Ah, okay. So that just gives us, like, a rucksack. But I want my Persona 5 outfit, please. I want to be Joker because he's awesome. Anyways, we'll stick with that, guys. So let's go ahead and leave. Oh, daily mission complete. Change your footwear. Okay. Uh, daily mission bonus activated. So what does that do then? So if you go to missions here, you can earn different items after completing a mission. You can check out the details of available challenge missions and daily missions on the mission screen. Try switching between the daily and challenge missions. All right then. So uh, what are these? These are these the daily? Okay. When you clear a daily mission, you will receive a bonus based on your result. You can clear missions up to two days in advance. Oh, okay. So we get XP. So is that for our character? Because that would actually be really cool. Um, for like an XP sort of thing. That's really cool. So it says for this one, uh, change your footwear. We've done that. Uh, change your upper headgear. So I can do that no problem, pretty much. And like the date today, yeah, it's Friday. So I've already done that. And uh, Saturday, okay. Um, I could do the change the bodysuit. So how about we do that now? Honestly, guys, I'm not keeping hold of these. This is just for the mission. Oh, okay, here we go. So everyday enthusiast. So we got the one for the upper headgear. And we did get the bodysuit one. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly check out the missions. There we go. They are all complete. So that's probably going to give us a... Oh, okay, okay. So it gives us a XP bonus for 30 minutes. That's really good because that's how long I plan on recording, guys, which is absolutely awesome. Also, just to show you guys, you can go ahead and change your Wisp Pong weapons. I think um, we only have one at the moment. And when we, like, play through the game more, we'll be able to unlock different types of weapons. So that's actually really cool. So it's got bursts only, all weapons. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a burst or whatever. But anyways, we're going to stick with the default one because we can't choose anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly change uh, the stuff that I added to this guy. There we go. Now let's return to the mission screen since... Uh, We've already done all the missions there. We're going to re return to the world map. What am I saying? Anyways, let's move on. Death Egg, Prison Hall, hello. So we can do rental avatars in this one as well. So let's go ahead and check them out and give everyone a little shout out. Oh wow, that looks pretty cool. And I think he, uh, yeah, he has some sort of like body art sort of thing. That looks really cool. Wow. And like cyborg, uh, cyborg hands. Oh, I like that one. That's really cool. Those shoes. They're like silver shoes. I like those. Wow. That weapon looks insane. Oh. Oh, that kind of reminds me of the mask that um, Yusuke has from Persona 5. Or Fox, in that case. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the next episode, guys. Which is Stage 4, Death Egg Prison Hall. This is going to be another Avatar mission, just like what we did in the previous episode. So this is going to be super duper fun. Listen up, rookie. Our other forces are busy dealing with enemies. Okay. It looks like you took the best route. It's up to you to save Sonic. Oh, now. oh, that was awesome. I don't think we did that before, where we were like going through uh, the uh, the wire. Oh, there we go. We're doing it again. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the dash handle. I bet handle. That's fine. But let's burn everyone and get up here. Wire attack. Oh, the music in this game is so good. So good. Oh, there we go. This stage looks really cool. I really like it. Whoa, look at all those rings. It feels... Okay. Okay, but I've lost, like, all my rings, so it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't feel quite as OP now. But anyways... Yeah, we're not going to find Sonic anytime soon, that's for sure. Okay, so that's taken us down. And down again. Okay. Oh, it's a little springy thing. Oh, it makes a different sound this time. Um, or like a pole. I don't know. I guess you can call it a pole. 
Let's uh, burn everyone. There we go. And burn you. Hello. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay. Alright, there we go. So let's just keep on blasting through. I'm starting to get used to this thing because I kind of failed when I was uh, checking it out previously. But it's fine, it's fine. Gosh, I feel, I do feel a bit overpowered with this ring thing with the wolf, but I mean, if he's my favourite animal, I can't help it guys, I gotta choose my favourite. Oh, alarms! Yeah, oh. Oh gosh, I did that wrong. Okay, back up, back up. Damn it. Come on, get back up. There we go. No! Oh, whoa. That thing was trying to blast us. Alright, we're at the end of the stage though, guys. Wow, that was quite quick to be fair. Let's see. Oh, nice. So we got the daily mission bonus. Okay. Oh, yes, and we got an S. Very, very nice. And this guy looks super duper awesome. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, so we got some uh, little advancing stuff to medals. So, we've completed the mission to clear stage 4. I didn't actually check those out properly, but I'll probably look at them uh, when we go back. So, we've got a new little helmet. Looks like a hockey, ma uh, hockey mask. Uh, football uh, helmet thing. Glasses. Very nice. Oh, they're quite cool. I like those as well. They're nice. And some sort of bodysuit. <laughs> kind of creepy looking. Uh, clear stage 4 with an S rank. Oh, very nice. And we've got a reward uh, for our weapon. Interesting. And some... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there's so much stuff, guys. It's so awesome. All right. So, it looks like the next episode is going to be Stage 5 Death Egg. Uh, this is Zovac. So, I'm guessing that's the guy um, from... What was it? A uh, Sonic Lost World, was it? But anyways, we have got an improvement to this little weapon. And it says here, collecting rings increases speed. Wow, that would be very handy. And applies a protective barrier. So let's definitely go ahead and equip that. Hooked on wispons. Definitely, we definitely are. Uh, so fitting room, we've got the helmets. We've got the glasses, gloves. We have black ones. Meh, uh, not too keen on those. Oh, they're nice. Ooh. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to keep these ones on. And then if I don't like them, I'll probably switch back to the other ones. Okay, body. So this is like a cape. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, Let's keep the body thing on. The body out of it. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, so let's quickly take that off. Okay, so it's like a skin tight sort of... Oh, wow. Wow, that's actually really cool. It's like we're made of emerald or something. That's super cool. But we're going to switch back, guys. Of course. I wonder if you can, like, set a, uh, a default outfit so that you can change to it, like, back and forth. That would be really cool. But let's go quickly check out the missions because I didn't actually look at these. So, um, it says for this one, clear stage 5 within... 135 seconds and I've still got some that I haven't gone through like if I decide to actually clear a stage uh, go back and clear stages for these missions I may do like that I might uh, yeah, I may do that separately but anyways we're, we're just going to be focusing on the main story for now so let's go back to the world map and we're going to be starting the next episode so Let's do this, guys. Stage 5 Death Egg. This is Zovac. Zavok. I've been oh, saying hey, his name wrong. Like Wanna let me go and join in? No? Of course not. You hate fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The end, huh? Let's see you try something now that I'm free. Foolish hedgehog. Getting out of your chains does not make you free. Now, come and face the inevitable. Ha! The only thing inevitable here is my foot kicking your butt! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a balding brute trying to take us down, but we're going to take him down. Oh, here we go! Oh, the music. <gasps> it's on a giant wasp! I hate wasps! Oh, gosh. 
bit of scary. To see how long you last against this. Come out and fight me yourself, and I'll mop you up real quick. There we go. I'm going to save her watching you suffer. Oh, nice. I like how this is slowed down for us, so that's very convenient. Because imagine if we were at full speed, that would be absolutely insane. Okay, so let's uh, continue to. Oh, gosh, they were trying to kill us. That's not fun. Right, where's he going? Is he going to try and land on this? Yeah. Okay, there we go. And I hit him again. And again. Nice. Very good. Three times does the charm. Let's take these guys out. I don't think we get anything from them. Probably more uh, points. No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's just get the rings. Oh, dear. Avoid the beam. Come on, Zobak. You can do better than that. Oh, gosh. So, oh, yeah, we can also see his health as well, just below his name. You know, it's quite small. Um, it's not too distracting. But it it kind of can be a bit higher. Oh. He sounds like he has like the same voice as Mephilus from Sonic 06. Just saying. Like, um, I'd have to check out if it is the same voice actor because I wouldn't be surprised personally. Because to be fair, I did really like his uh, voice acting in that game for Mephilus. I thought it was really cool. Even though uh, the scripting for it wasn't the best and all that, it was still pretty cool. Like, I'm so glad that um, Silver's voice changed as well. Oh gosh. Please do not kill us. Anyways, let's focus on this guy. Boom. Okay. Oh gosh, are we going to be pressing buttons? <laughs> Look at that. No. How could I lose <gasps> to the likes of you again? Nice, that we took him out. Bring some chili dogs next time. Haha. <laughs> That's right. So have we done it? Yes, we have. But we got no rings. Okay, so... Uh, sex tool, sex tool trouble. Or whatever that was. Anyways, we got an S rank, guys. That's awesome. And we got some medals. We're, we've got, like, four bronze ones now. Okay. Uh, clear stage five. Did we get the... Oh, okay, what's this? Is that a new weapon? Oh, we got a little hat, shoes, uh, bodysuit. And we cleared this uh, mission as well. Oh, that's a nice rucksack. Gloves, boots. Oh. Okay, so we also got this one as well, of course. Oh, look at that, a little tie bow thing. Uh, glasses. This looks like, uh, uh, they look like uh, little schoolboy shoes, like with the socks and things. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Oh damn, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> Whoa, what? It's that sound again. So was he just Whoa, an illusion or something? It's time for running. Damn, that is insane. Maybe Eggman has enhanced them or something with the power of infinite. Anyways, we are moving on to stage six death egg. Okay. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and check out the avatar. So, oh, okay. So we do have a new weapon type. I think, um, yeah, lightning. Attacks with a whip of lightning. Uh, what does this do? Moves at light, lightning speed, lightning fast speeds near rings or enemies. Okay, so... I'm actually going to go ahead and check out this new weapon, see what it's like for you guys, and yeah, we're going to be checking that out. But let's go through the clothes that we got. Okay, I do quite like those gloves, but it's quite weird with the green. Uh, like, yeah, like the greenish blue. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and change them, just for the fun of it. Um, those are quite cool. But I want to try the new shoes. Anyways, there's so much you can, like, customise in this game. It's super awesome. Okay, so that's the bag. And that's the little bow tie. Okay, and body suits. Let's have a look. Oh, whoa. So it's like we're some sort of reptilian creature. Okay, okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch back, though. There we go. Okay. Now, that should be about it, guys. Let's return to the world map.
Okay guys, so because I cut it quite short previously, I'm going to do another stage, which is going to be this one. Stage 6, Death Egg, Egg Gate. So, let's go ahead and check it out. And I think this might be a Sonic stage, probably not for the Avatar. So, yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, so there's like a little platform we could have gone up then, but we don't want to get squished. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely stepped up this game. This is super awesome. Just like, look at it. The stage is amazing, like the design, I love it. Anyways, let's keep on going upwards. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Very cool. Now, oh gosh, move out of the way. Oh, nice, man. Sprung. I don't do well in tight spaces. I'll pay back Eggman for putting me in this jam later. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. So that fires out little uh, balls of lasers. Oh gosh, move. No. Oh wow, they follow us? Okay. Okay then. If that's how they want to play. Nice, we're on the meta rails. Yeah. Oh gosh. Stop firing lasers at us. Can we, um. I don't think we can. Oh wow, that's awesome though, that we can like jump off like that. That's super duper cool. We got another red ring! Alright, let's keep on going. I wonder what we can actually use them for though, apart from completing missions. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, you can perform a stomp, just like what I did then while jumping. So, what's my move? It's not like I can oh. swim out into space. I know. I'll just grab a shuttle. The one I came in on must be around here somewhere. I could do with a little space cruise on my way home. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, I completely did that wrong. Let's go down and find a shuttle. Oh my gosh. Go! I don't want to get squished. Right, so we've run out of boost. Oh dear. Why can we get more boost then? Oh, can we use those? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's like Star Wars. <laughs> oh gosh, way too soon. And boom. Perfect. There we go. I did the other one a bit too soon. Ooh. Go on, Sonic. Get on the... Oh, where are we going? <gasps> Skydiving. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We're at the end of the stage. Very nice, guys. That wasn't too bad. Awesome. Um, I think we got a decent score. Let's see. Okay. All right, so we got an S. How? How did we get an S? I do not know, but we managed to get one. We got a silver medal. Very nice. So let's see. Clear stage six. Ooh. Oh, nice. A backwards hat. Okay. Well, that was a lot of stuff, though. Let's have a look at this. Another bag. Whoa, a mask. Like a face mask, even. Uh, so, is that it for that one? Okay, very cool. Oh, <gasps> oh no, it's us. We're in trouble. Huh. Hey, Sonic. Oh, easy there. Everything's cool. Are you here to rescue me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's been a while since I've seen a friendly face. Hey, rookie, you still in one piece? Oh, sure. Don't even bother to ask how I am. Sonic! Hey, me? <laughs> Is there an exit around here? Okay. Your concern is touching, Knuckles. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So let's grab this and get out of here. We need to go. Boom. Wow, that was fast. Like, <laughs> wow, we, we just turned into a rocket from slow to phew. Sonic, lightning speed. Alive is the best news we've had in months. Nice. Here's the bad news. Our intel indicates Eggman's got a weapons factory in Green Hill, pumping <gasps> out munitions for his war effort. A factory? We can't take out Eggman's home base in Metropolis if he's got a factory supplying him. No kidding. 
Look, Sonic, I know you just got back, but we're spread thin. Can you take care of this? We need that factory in Green Hill destroyed. Take the rookie with you. You sure about this? The kid was shaking like a leaf the whole time we were at the Death Egg. <laughs> That's because it's cold in space. The factory is nice and warm. Yeah. It will be when it's burnt to the ground. Sonic, you take the lead. Rookie, and just make sure you take good notes. <laughs> okay. I got six months of payback I'm just dying to spend. This sounds like a good start. It does. So let's see, we're going to be heading back then to the world of Sonic. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and check out the missions because apparently there's new things. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So these are for the current missions. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the avatar so we can just go for all the new stuff. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the Persona 5 thing, of course, the Persona 5 mask. Ooh. <laughs> I have a nice little pink little flowy things. Uh, no, we're not gonna have those. Okay, so we got more footwear. Very nice. And we got like a rucksack and a shirt. Very cool. Uh, what is this? Ah, uh, okay. So, retexture stuff sort of things. Uh, we're gonna leave it at that. But there we go, guys. That is pretty much all the stuff that we got, uh, for our character. Is there any, like, daily ones left? No, okay. So, I think these ones are pretty much, uh, for the time being, uh, the missions that I have for the next couple of days, which is very interesting. And they're probably not gonna refresh, but oh well. But we are going to be leaving it at that since we have completed the whole stage of the Death Egg and as well we have managed to rescue Sonic and we are going to be returning back to the planet where we'll be looking at stage 7 on Green Hill. So that's going to be very very interesting guys and if you are looking forward to the next episode don't forget to leave it a cheeky little like and as well leave a comment on all your... If you've been enjoying this playthrough so far don't forget to leave a like and also a comment on what you think of this game as well. Also, if you've grabbed a copy of Sonic Forces, please let me know because I'd love to hear your opinions on the game and on which platform. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with the channel, guys, and also hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and get notifications at the same time. But that just about wraps everything up, guys, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next part of Sonic Forces. Until then, guys, see ya!